Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and Disney cannot resist gender swapping, race swapping, or even sexuality swapping every single character that they have available. Now, they can't do race or gender swaps with Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's well too established at this point. But sexuality, that's always open for debate, in their minds at least, because now in this awful god awful like why a children's series all about kissing dudes apparently obi-wan kenobi is bisexual or at least bi curious apparently and that's just not who the character of obi-wan is sexuality is an important part of your character for an attribute not your whole personality obviously there's a lot of problems that hollywood has when they do that but it's an important part that would be evident before this random book so just randomly like ooh, we uh obi-wan he was like in a tv show so people are thinking about him how can we usurp and change his character for our own political agenda i know let's it's amazing because, of course, they can't make him completely gay because he's been with women before. So bi is their perfect way of, oh, he's technically bi, but he's never going to be with a woman again. Same thing they did with Robin in DC and Son of Superman in DC. Just say they're bi so you get over that they've been with women in the past, but they're never going to be with women again. That's kind of the approach that Disney's taking very much like DC. And it doesn't surprise me. Not whatsoever. I mean, Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. And Disney knows how to take people's favorite characters and use and destroy them for political purposes. It's the only thing that they're actually good at these days. So this really doesn't surprise me, but I want to read some of the pages here in this god-awful book. Like, from the cover, that looks fine enough. A story about young Padawan Obi-Wan. Cool, interesting. In a better era, in EU-type Star Wars era, I might be interested in this book. But in current era, you know it's going to be awful. I mean, just listen to this dialogue that we have here. So we have some of the characters talking. And though I will admit, I've been curious about kissing and why Audi and Zybra enjoy it so much. So if you're ever curious too, let me know. That is why a 2020 Gen Z crap. What the fuck it type, type of dialogue is that for Star Wars? And then Obi-Wan blushed. I will let you know. I mean, that I, I will do it right now. Uh, uh, not with you or anyone, but, you know, I, 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 I'm like a little gazes. That's terrible dialogue! As a writer myself, who's not all that great, you know, I'm still an inspiring writer, published author, but just doing my best, still learning. This is awful to me. This is not Star Wars. This is... Barely YA crap. It barely constitutes as YA crap. It is so asinine. And he's just, I, I want to kiss a boysies. He said, but kiss a boysies. It's really pathetic. And then it goes on here with some more. Uh, <laughs> and if he did get to the point, who would he want to kiss? The Leothrans were confident and charismatic. Kissing any of them. It's, it's all about kissing. You'd think as a Jedi Padawan who's constantly told, repress your connections, don't get attached to anyone, who's living in the Jedi Temple, always under the supervision of your master or other Jedi masters, that you wouldn't have time to be constantly talking about kissing. But it seems like this entire book is talking about kissing. Wow. Or maybe you wanted to kiss all of them. Not meh, though. She had a feeling it would be upset. Like, what is this? What is this? Why a crap is generous to this thing? It's just about Obi-Wan wanting to kiss dudes. That's what this entire book seems to be about. That's not what Star Wars is about. That's not what good characters are about. This is so, so very, very sad, but it's not surprising coming out of modern day Disney whatsoever. I want to be interested in if, if he was talking about girls wanting to kiss. That's not the issue primarily. I mean, it's being propagandized and weaponized, so that's a problem. But it's it's Star Wars. We don't want to have YA kissy crap about Jedi Padawans. We want to see them training. We want to see them fighting. We want to see the intricate workings of the Jedi Temple and how the Jedi Order operates. We don't want to talk about how they want to kiss each other all the time. That should be obvious to any Star Wars fan. This is just pathetic and a cheap way to virtue signal. And I'm surprised it didn't come out last month during Pride Month. Or maybe it did. It's just getting popularity now. But it, it's just so cheap and lazy and not surprising because Disney's going to race gender swap or sexuality swap every person that they possibly can for those woke virtue signaling points. But they don't actually care. And they've shown that time and time again. But this is just... Just so sad. I imagine Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 2 will have to follow this, and they'll make him kiss a dude in it just so that they have continuity with their own crap. And it's just an excuse. You always These companies, they always started out in books and comic books, and then by the time they get into the shows, they're like, it's canon. You guys like canon. You put it in the little booksies. That's not what we mean. 
<laughs> it's just an excuse. It's an excuse for later on down the line is what I fully believe. This is definitely being set up for Kenobi season two. He's probably going to have a boyfriend on Tatooine, which is going to be just against his character. He's supposed to be alone or protecting Luke, or hey, that's what he was before Kenobi season one, but I won't get into that. This is sad. Sad that Disney's continuing down the track, and I wonder how much longer they can keep selling stuff like this before they go bankrupt in Star Wars, because there is the law of diminishing returns. Diminishing returns are evident throughout the Star Wars franchise. Anyone who says differently isn't paying attention to the numbers. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.